Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the European Championships in Bovets on beautiful river Socha. Today uh, we have uh, three races on the classic distance. We begin with the uh, classic team for women's. We have uh, five teams on the start list. We start with the Messi country, Slovenia. Start number one. The start will be in four minutes on time. We are again on the classic race course from Sampenica to Ternovo. Four kilometers racing course. Start very easy and finish it uh, in the canyon on the Slavon race course. Very difficult and technical. So beautiful picture here. Pedestrian bridge and the entrance of the canyon. Today's team race uh, by the rules we have a free boat on. The main goal is all three boats must come through the finish line within 10 seconds. So not only physical skills, so they need also the weapons, they need also some technical skills and uh, we will see. There is some favorites also. We're looking favorites from the Czech Republic. Depends on the yesterday's individual race results. In almost all categories scheduled today, the Czech Republic teams are in favorites because they have uh, the best results from the in taken by individuals race. So we have a uh, five. K1 women teams, Slovenia, start number one, number two Germany, number three Italy, number four France, and number five Czech Republic. Two minutes to the start. Beautiful day for racing. The rain is stopped and uh, we expect very good competitions. Windy today, a little bit. So we not we can look the start list. So start number one Slovenia, number two Germany, number three Italy, number four France, and number five Czech Republic. One minute to the start. We have one start in Slovenia. Safety calculators are also in their own position. So I think everything is ready for the first start. So, Team Slovenia, Lea Novak, Anna Stemlai, Jiva Janča. Young team, look for experience here. Today between teams there is a two minutes gap. So they start so Leonovak, Anna Stemlai and Jiva Yanchar. It's on the race course. Slovenia. Slovenian K1 women teams are on the race course and now we have and we must wait for Germany start number two. Alke Oberbeck, Janina Piaskowski and Lisa Kestler. The young team from Slovenia, it's on the, it's on the race course. The best one from the yesterday individual race was Anna Stebley. She is on 17th place. Just before Jiva Yanchar, she was on 18, and uh, suddenly Lea Novak doesn't start yesterday on the, in the individual race. But now we have uh, one more minute to the start for the German team. Uh, 
Alke Overbeck will lead this German team, K1 Women's. She was fifth yesterday. Big battle for bronze. Very interesting individual races yesterday we had, especially in K1 Women's. Swiss Matisse Melanie won at front of the Riza Matilde for two thousandths of a second. But now we are just 15 seconds in front of the start for the German team. Alke Oberbeck, Janina Piaskowski and Lisa Kessel. So they are on the race course. We saw it Alke's the land in the last boat. We can say take care of this teammates at front. And so we wait start number three. The team from Italy. We have Alke Overbeck, the best German from yesterday. Janina Vyavskovsky won 11th place. Just in front, Lisa Kessel, she was on the 12th position. And now we have some time. To, it's one minute left uh, before the Italian start, and we have then around 40 minutes to see the teams again here in the entrance of the slalom race course to the canyon. So we see Italian team, Marta Benedetti, Rosa Matilde, and Giulia Formenton. Rosa Matilde won the second place, second place yesterday on the individual race. Very experienced women, together with a young athlete, they look for experience. But we, we can see, yes, there is wind, yeah, there is wind also on the start. So make uh, race much more difficult, especially on this open flat area. If we have uh, upstream wind, yes, it can be very, very difficult. So now we have uh, three teams on the race course. Start number one, Slovenia. Start number two, Germany. And start number three, Italy. Slovenians, K1 women team, it's already four and a half minutes on the race course. So I think we need to wait 10 or 12 minutes more to so the women's here before the entrance of the canyon. We have uh, five teams and Czech team, like favorite, it's on the last, with start number five. Now we have uh, one minute left uh, and we wait uh, Team France, Liz Binet, Charlene Le Corbusier and Finicia Dupraz. Very experienced team. Dupra Fenicia was sixth yesterday. Liz Vinay seven and Le Corbusier eight. Ooh. There is uh, in gap and less than uh, one second. All three women's was finish individual competitions yesterday. So they are ready for the start. French team start number four. Liz Vinay, Charlene Le Corbusier, Fenicia Dupra. They wait for the start. So there is uh, 15 seconds left. We see volunteers there. They are very helpful on the start. Good start for the French team. Yes, there is upstream wind. 
make it racing much more difficult on this open and flat area on the beginning of the race course. There is about 800 meters to one kilometer real flat and open part of the river. Now we have a four K1 women's team on the race course. Now we wait a uh, Czech team. Slovenian team is already 6 minutes and 50 seconds on the race course. So we need to wait a little bit. So we have a one minute left for Czech team start. Absolutely favorite here in this discipline. Czech team will consist in the absolutely star Martina Satkova. She has a problem yesterday in individual competition. She swim, she swim, but this is real champions. What they do, she continue the competition and finish in the last place. But after that, she took the medal in C1 category. But uh, there is also Aneshka Paludova and Klara Hritsova. And Klara Hritsova finished fourth and Paludova was third. So they are. Czech team is on the race course. Great start for them. Very powerful. And so we have four five teams already on the race course. Slovenian team uh, just passed eight minutes on the race course. And we weigh them close here and the, before the end uh, of the competition. And uh, we will see the mark times and everything. And then we can see what the target time will be. Yesterday, the first K1 women uh, was 18.41.20 for sure. Today, results will be a little bit slower because there is a team race and also uh, water level was a little bit less than yesterday. Slovenian team is already nine minutes on the race course. But beautiful river, and um, I think conditions for racing are very, very good. Expect to this wind also, and there is a upstream wind on the finish. You can see the flags, yes, this wind make it much more difficult to compete, to compete there. But I think they practice a lot, everybody practice a lot here also in the windy days and rain but hopefully there is no rain in the moment. So I think we need to wait eight in nine minutes more to see the first team, the Slovenian team here on the entrance to the canyon. Lea Novak, Anna Stebla and Živa Jančar, the young team looking for experience here on the European Championships. They also compete in slalom. Anna Steblai, the best ranked athlete on 17th place. Živa Jančar was 18th. And Lea Novak, she missed the start yesterday on individual race. But we look now for day in time here on the split, just before the pedestrian bridge on the entrance in the canyon. Mentioned before, there is a 5K1 women's team on the race course. So Slovenian crew just passed 11 minutes. 
and uh, we continue competition with the main canoe classic team. They schedule it in uh, three minutes. The first team will start in three minutes. We have uh, five teams on the start list. Slovakia, Croatia, Slovenia, France and Czech Republic. Czech Republic absolutely favorites also in this category. Slovenian team, uh, Blaštsov, he was third on yesterday individual. She is substituted by young Mai Osterbank. Uh, Croatian crew is leading by the six-time world champion and current European champion Emil Milikram. We have also experienced team from France, Debris, La Ponte, Santa Maria, and absolutely favorite, Roland Srigel Slanina. We start last with start number 10. Slovenian team, K1 women's, just past 12 minutes. So there is, let's say, seven minutes, eight minutes more. to be on the finish line and maybe around six minutes wait. We must wait around six minutes to show them here on the first split, just before the entrance, just before the entrance into the canyon. Croatia, so, this is the first team, C1 men team, Slovakia, absolutely star is Peter Hochschoner, C2 slalom athlete, several times Olympic and world champion now in Wawaja Kanoi here on European Championships. Dani Kladislav, Medved Martin and uh, Peter Hochschoner, start number six. Slovakian crew is on the race course. A real experience athlete. So now we have uh, all six teams on the race course. We wait uh, first team K1 women, Slovenia. Now must be close to the split time and wait for the start. In uh, one minute and a half, there will be start of uh, C1 men, Croatia team. Ivan Tolic, Igor Goic, Emil Milikram. Emil Milikram, absolute star, six-time world champion. He won the race yesterday, individual classic race. So we wait start for Croatian team, which will be in uh, one minute. Now I think the Slovenian K1 women's teams are close to the split time. They just passed 15 minutes on the race course. And we wait also start of C1 men Croatian team, which will be in uh, 40 seconds. Four kilometers race course, very, very beautiful race course, challenging, start with, let's say, flat part and finish with real, real pure wild water. 15 seconds before the start of Croatian team, so we saw it, Ivan Tolic, Igor Goic and uh, Emil Milichram, Emil Milichram, superstar of Wildwater Canoe Sports, six-time world champion and uh, European champion.
current European champion. He won a race yesterday. Excellent skills. So, let's see where is the women K1, Slovenian crew. And also we wait Slovenian team for C1 men. You say a bit four, Blaszczow, third from yesterday competition. He is uh, substituted by my Osterbank, the young athlete, together with Gale Martin and Nate Gradishek. So Slovenian coach and team leaders, they decide to make a young team. All three athletes are very young and uh, they will start in uh, one minute. So we look also, we are here now in the, in the beautiful picture from the pedestrian bridge and uh, we look and wait for Slovenian team K1 women's Lea Novak, Ana Štebla and Živa Jančar. Uh, start number one. Start number two from Germany, Alka Orebek, Janina Piaskovski, Lisa Kestler. Now oh, there is 30 seconds before the start. Uh, young Slovenian team, C1 men. Uh, Blaszczow, bronze medalist from yesterday individual competition, is substituted by the young Mai Osterbeng. Martin Galen, Nate Gradišek. This is a young Slovenian team looking for experience. Good training and good preparation for junior and under 23 world championships to be held in July in Banja Luka on Vrbas River now. Very, very good tactics. Look at that. They are second and third boat. Use the wave. Great, great. We will see it. So we still wait Slovenian K1 women's. They are 18, they pass 18 minutes on the race course. Now we have also start, we wait start for C1 men, team from France, very experienced and strong. Tony Debris, Louis Lapont de Stefan Santa Maria. Lapont Luis was fourth yesterday. Santa Maria Stefan, fifth. And Tony Debris, 11th place yesterday on individual competition. Also, Santa Maria Stefan uh, won the silver in C2 individual race. Experienced athlete. And uh, for sure, they need a big experience and big force and big strength to challenging Czech team. They are in the last position for the start list. Start number 10. So there is a Slovenian team. So there is uh, all three preparing the lines to approach the canyon. Very good line. So, very good. They are online without any additional strokes or maneuvering. Great. Great pedaling for this young crew. They for sure looking for experience also for the junior and under 23 
World Championships to be held in July on beautiful uh, Vrbas River. So the leading boat must also watch for the last one. They must took the finish line within 10 seconds. So for sure the first boat now will wait. They will wait now for the third boat because stop watches uh, will stop when the last boat cross the finish line. So for sure the judges is there also to recalculate the time. So 21, 32, 0 now. We have a uh, first time here. Germans, they are already in the canyon, uh, ready for the final jump there. 1950, uh, they are all three together. Great tactics by the German crew, leading by Alke Overbeck, uh, Janina Piaskowski, Lia Kessler. Great job for them. They will be just over 20 minutes. Uh, yes, 20.08.14. Yes, they uh, took the lead by 1 minute 23.95 seconds. And uh, great job for Germany. And now uh, we have a uh, mark time for the others. We wait Italian team there. I think already the French team uh, start, C1 men start, and also the Czech team, they are already on the race course. We have a picture now from the finish point. Now we have an uh, Italian team uh, leading by Rosa Matilde, the most experienced silver medalist from yesterday's individual competition. Uh, all three boats together, they're entering the canyon uh, on very good line. Very good lines, they don't want to take any risks. So in team races, the times, time start when the first boat crossed the beams, beams or start line and uh, time stopped when the third boat crossed the finish line. And all three boats must uh, cross the finish line within 10 seconds. Now they are just preparing for the jump before the finish line. All three boats are very close. We wait for the time. Arrows are take the S line on the right. Keep the space for the second and third boat. And now they are preparing for the finish. Yeah, they are behind the Germans. 2016.42. Eight minutes and eight minutes, eight seconds, point twenty eight behind the German team, the current uh, leader. So there is a French team. We have it entering the slalom race course, the final canyon. They are 28 seconds in front of uh, German, Germany team. So absolutely favorite here. For sure the French team looking for a gold, but there is one more team left. Czech Republic leading by Martina Satkova, absolutely star. Aneška Poludova, Klara Hricova. But also French team very concentrated. Stay online. And there is first, second, all three boats close to each other. Just preparing uh, for the finish line. And there will be a very, very good time. So we have a second boat. There's one on S. There is 1937.8.
half a minute, 30 seconds in front of a German team. Now we have a Czech team here waiting for the split time. Very, very powerful. Look at that. Big, big power. Wow. 23.7 seconds at front was at front of French team. Wow. What a time. So for sure, they will uh, look now for easy lines. Not force too much. Just keep eye on all three boats to secure the first place. But there is some 50 seconds before the finish line. And there is a little bit bigger gap between first and second boat. The Czech team leading by Martina Sadkova, the absolutely starring K1 and C1 women's. Very powerful. And she must look and also wait for she's teammates boat number two and three now she has her middle passage middle jump and now she must wait she must wait uh, the second and third boat for sure they will took the first position 19 17 so they lose some time in the last part but still enough still enough for the first plate unofficial results there is a Czech team first place second place France third Germany fourth Italy and fifth Slovenia so, Czech team, absolutely favorite. Uh, first place for Czech Republic, second place France, and third place for Germany. Now we're looking now and wait, C1 men's. Slovakian team uh, leading by uh, Peter Hochschon and uh, was just over 40 minutes on the race course. Now we wait the split time here before the entrance on the canyon. Uh, to wait a little bit here. So, and uh, already 12.28, the first men K1 team start, team from Spain. Everything is uh, on time at the moment. Uh, we wait first C1 men team, Slovakia leading by Peter Hochschoner. And uh, now we can see it, K1 women's here. Wait and celebrate, especially Czech team, they celebrate the gold. So, we have now all C1 men teams and the first K1 men teams from Spain. We Now we are online with the Serbian team. Sretan Bilic, Marko Mlanovic, Marko Jovic. They will start, they will they will start. This crew is leading by Sretan Bilic, most experienced athlete. And they, yes, they start on time. Now we have a two K1 men classic teams on the race course. Still wait, Slovakian team on the split time before the entrance into the canyon. Dani Kladislav, Medved Martin, Hochschor and Peter. Mm -hmm. 
Katolika, Adam Kopke, Karel Zlepica a Kamil Grupe. Kupa, Remo na prej, drugi komis v Evrocipli, šesti komis v Evrocipli, ki imajo romskega prvenstva. Jugo Milon, this is the second final decision. Of the team event, Bristol Benavos, that went to set the bottom for the Benavos attack. Still with Slovakian team here in the canyon. Still windy here in the canyon also. Italian K1 men team Francesco Ciotoli, Andrea Bernardi, Nicolo Razzetto wait for the start. Italian young team, very good. Team is leading by uh, Andrea Bernardi. He was 16 uh, yesterday. Francesco Giotoli, 20 on 20th position, and Nicolo Razzetto, 21st position for Italian. Very young team, looking for experience here in European Championships. Now, Slovakian C1 men team is 18 minutes 30 seconds already on the race course. Maybe in one minute, maybe we can show him show them here on the entrance. On the split time, we already have a free K1 men teams on the race course. Spain, Serbia and Italy already start and we wait now start from the Belgium team. The Czech team, they are favorites in uh, all categories. They already took the gold in K1 women classic team. Now they are also favorite in men cannot classic team. And also last comp competition scheduled today, men kayak classic team. So we are with the Belgium team now. Kilian Mersman, Simon Pipe, Leon Montile. Wait for they start. They are very young team. Here. The team is leading by the Leo Montule. He was he finished 617. Uh, Kilian Mesman 18 and Samuel Pai 19 position. They all finished race yesterday individual in less than six seconds. So they, we can say it's very consistent with the same quality show French team are satisfied with the silver because the Czech team was too strong but now we look for the Slovakian C1 men team they must be very close to the entrance here into the canyon under the pedestrian road, pedestrian bridge also. Slovakians are already 21 minutes on the race course. Now we are here with picture on the, the entrance to the canyon. We wait. No, Croatian team is. We see now, this is a Croatian team leading by Emil Milikram. All three boats together the, on the entrance to the canyon. 
They are uh, 19 and 30 seconds uh, on the race course. Now they enter the race course here. So Croatian team uh, overpassed the Slovakians on the race course. Now Croatian crew goes uh, all three boats close together with uh, in line. Emma Milhram leading this world, leading this team, six-time world champion, European champion, tremendous athlete. There is Ivan Tolic in the middle, the less experienced athlete here. Igor Goic in third position. Now Emil Melihram looking backwards to the way they all teammates here. Just keep by on this 10 seconds gap. All three boats must, uh, must, must pass the uh, finish line within 10 seconds. Uh, we can see here on the storage. Uh, mistake before the finish line, just before the finish line, 2053.18. But we will see Slovenia, the Slovenian's crew is uh, next one. Ivan Tolic make big mistake here, and if just before the finish line, they lose some seconds, maybe. We, 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 we must wait, we must wait now. Slovenians, young team, leading by my Ostermenk, Martin Gale and Nate Gradišek. Uh, for sure, Slovakians is over on the race course here. At the moment, creation team is on the field, on the first place. But now we make uh, Slovenia still on the race course. France, an absolute favorite, Czech Republic. So we are back uh, on the start. Germany, K1 men, Germany. Tobias Kroner, Nico Poffler, Team Heilinger. Very experienced team, very strong, powerful. Yesterday, the Nico Puffler was on seventh position. Tobias Kroner 11th and uh, Tim Heilinger on 12th. Very strong, very strong team from Germany. Now there is a Slovenian team, Slovenian young team leading by my Osterbank. They are under the bridge here, start number eight. Ooh. On the split time, Slovenian crew was 52 seconds behind the Croatians. But we can see the French team. French team is already just on the entrance into the canyon. 43 seconds at front of the Croatian team on the split time. For sure, Slovenians, young team now must leave the space for French team because they are very, very close. They are very, very close. Excellent job for young Slovenians. Big experience. The young team with leading by my Osterbank. Martin Gallen, Nate Gradišek, very good experience for junior and under 23 world championships to be held in uh, July on beautiful uh, River Verbas. 44 seconds behind the creation crew, but now there is a French team, very, very close, very, very close and very, very fast. They are already in. Uh, First place for the French team, start number nine. 2001.88, 51 seconds at from the decoration team. They build up speed also in the last part. We saw Ivan Tolic make a big mistake. But Czech team is now here, just on the entrance. Before the split time, yes, there is a third bolt. 
17 seconds at front of the French team. Ooh, big battle. Very, very strong team. Very, very strong. Leading by Andre Rollins. Great, great lines. Look at that. Look when the Andre just make a few strong strokes. Look this power of how he is powerful and good. And uh, he to the good line here. Wait for the the teammates here. Just to keep playing on them. And they now preparing here for the last part. Yes, they are here in the small channel here, and uh, they must look for the third boat at the moment. Andre took the right S, give the space for the other boat, second one also. And for sure, the third boat will go on the jump. The third one, very, very tight. He makes one mistake here, but. Uh, it's enough for the goal, 19, 46.16. 15.7 seconds at front of French team. What a race for the Czech crew, they are excellent. They are great. So we have a Czech team at first place, uh, France second, medal for Croatia on fourth place, Slovenia and suddenly Slovakian team don't finish this race. Great race, excellent. Czech team, second goal. So they are also favorite in K1 classic team. Uh, they are just start. They are just start. Look the Czech K1 women's team. Uh, goal for them. They are great. Great race in C1. The Czech team took second goal. Now looking for a third one. There is uh, now all eight K1 classic teams are on the race course. Absolutely favorite Czech team. Slovenian, there is a substitute, the Slovenian crew substitute the best athlete, Nej Nidršić, the substitute by the Tim Novak, together with Simon Owen and Andrzej Rankar looking for the challenge and fight between the Czech and German team. But in a few minutes we will know the truth if the Czech team took the third goal on today's competitions. Or maybe the Slovenians can say something also in German, experienced guys. Spain team is uh, just over 16 minutes on the race course. This is the first time, first team on the start uh, at front of the Serbian and Italian team. Spain, because this with Fidalgo de Leon Guillermo, Rui Paul Sergio, and Ramos Colado Rodrigo. The Spain athlete looking for the experience here on this competition. Now there is a C1 man gold team from Czech Republic, leading by Andre Rollins. So the Spain team is just over 17 minutes on the race course. We still await them here on the entrance, here before the canyon, in the last part of the race course. Start number 11, Spain. 
Czech team, start number 18, also recognized like favorites, also in this category. So if there will be some challenge from Germany or France, Slovenia, there will be real, real challenge here. And just looking to see this real, real good and nice competitions between those three or four countries fighting for the medals. Czech team is recognized like a absolutely favorite also in this category. They all they already have uh, two goals in classic K1 women team races and men canoes. Now we made the team from Spain. They are just over 18 minutes on the race course. Maybe one minute they can maybe reach the split time which is on the entrance here on the canyon the best Spanish athlete uh, Fidalgo de Leon Guillermo finished 15th yesterday on individual race Ripa Sergio was 27th. So they are close to 19 minutes on the race course. Now there is start number 11, uh, Spain. On the entrance here in the canyon so we have now first team from Spain they are just under the pedestrian bridge looking for the good lines without any risk now the first boat nurse must just look uh, behind to see where is the second and third boat. They must pass the finish line in uh, 10 seconds. So, first ball coughing and down the, uh, the finish line, the last jump. Also, he took the left passage. Uh, and now I'm sure he stopped and wait the teammates because they have a uh, trouble. Second ball to hit rock here. And now we wait the first time 2029.69 uh, for team from Spain. The second team uh, is now Serbian, leading by Sveta Milic. Uh, they are now uh, here. So Italians overpass the Serbian crew. Italian crew is now in the canyon. Very, very good tactics. Look, almost second and third boats. It's very, very close. First boat leading very good lines. Experienced team. Very good lines here. So we have Italians now. Ooh, 17 31. That would be good, good time for Italians. Uh, uh, straight, all boats are online. Very good. First boat go on the S passage here. Third will go on the left just to keep the space for the third boats. And now. They go there, just maybe just 18 uh, 01 48, first place in the moment. Oh, very good time, very good time for, for Italians. Now, 
we made what is with Serbian team, but we have also the Belgians close to here. We have Italians 1801.48, Spain 20, 29.69, 2 minutes 28 seconds behind. We have now when we wait Serbian school and Belgium, but there is team of Belgium. Yes, Serbian team, we don't have information what happened there, but the Belgians are there. Nine seconds slower than Italians on the split race, on the split time. Very good and smooth. Where is the third boat? They are close, second and third. Landing by the first boat. Very young athlete. So they look uh, now for the best lines to save some time, but nine seconds is uh, a lot because of the Italian crew make very, very, very good run here on the last part, but Belgium's are very good, very strong, but uh, the first boat, they, uh, he must uh, check where is now their teammates. Second and third boats in the row, small problems here in the middle before they preparing for the jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, they I hope that first boat wait for the last one. 18, 14, second place, uh, 12 seconds behind Italian, they lose 3.6 seconds on the last part. So we have one of the Serbian athletes here just under the pedestrian bridge. Uh, first, second, uh, where is a third boat from Serbian crew. For sure they won the finish race course 22 45 minutes on the race course we saw now the Seton Village the most experienced athlete uh, it's on the third position now we wait the time for Serbian crew for sure they have a some problems because they are more than five minutes behind. Yes, they have big problems somewhere on the race course, but uh, congratulations, they have uh, finished the, the race. They are on the current four position. Now we with the French crew. French crew on the race course. Uh, so they wait to boats. They want to go all three boats together, but 55 seconds now on the split time behind the Italian crew. So that will be enough for third. So that means the Belgians will be at front of a big, big French team. But please wait the end of the race. Italian team uh, still on position number one, uh, Belgium uh, second, and Spain on third. French is in the canyon uh, now. Very confident, very good line. They are already behind Italian and Belgium crew, so they will to the third place in the, in the time. So Italian still on uh, position number one, Belgium second, uh, Spain uh, now. 
four and French come, come to third place. Now German, Germans, they are already under the pedestrian bridge here. They are on entrance here. So we will... So Italian's crew is still in lead with 18.01. German team. Yes, leading by Tobias Kröner here. Wait, where is the second and third bolt? He must take care of this 10 seconds on the finish. We don't have enough have split time for, for Germany. 17.50, the target time is 18.01 by the Italians. But yes, Italians will keep the lead for sure. Yes, for sure. The German crew is on the position number two. Oh, great job for Italian, young crew. Now we have a Slovenian team. They are here. So the Slovenian team makes substitute just before the race. Nate Zinderčić was substituted by the young team Novak. Simon Omen and Že Oranka. 27 seconds in front of the Italian team uh, on the split, on the split time. Very, very good run. You were a young team, but very, very good. Simon Owen, current European champion, and Joe Uranga, second place. So there will be a big, big challenge between Slovenians and Czech team. Tim Novak, the new team member after the substitute caused by injury of Nate Nidovčić. Very, very close, 17, 18. He go on the <coughs> right passage, S. They leave the space for the third boat and they are going in a row. It's a few more seconds. It's 17, 34.66, uh, uh, first place. <laughs> they lose some time uh, in the canyon. Uh, Italians make it better than Slovenian crew, but still enough time to Slovenian crew can make the current world, current position. Now we wait the Czech team, Adam Sadke, Karol Šlepica, Kamil Muzek. Uh, so we're looking for the split time. Czech Republic, they are on way. Yes, close to the pedestrian bridge. Satke Adam, uh, bronze medalist from yesterday's individual competition. Very confident and powerful. 2.8 seconds and from the Slovenian team uh, on the split time. So I think the Slovenians make it a uh, small mistake there just before the finish line. But the Czech team is very confident, very powerful here. Kamil Mruzik, the most experienced athlete, yes, on the position number three. Just keep eye on those two young teammates in front of him. Just close to 17 minutes. Now they're preparing for this flat part of the river. They, they even build up speed on this part. Adam Satke, bronze medalist from yesterday's individual competition. And I think the Czech team looking for the third goal in a team competition. Target time 17 34. Czech team is just close to 76 7. 
731, three points two seconds. Yeah, they build up speed also in the last section on the race course. And the Czech team uh, took the gold in K1 men, classic team, Slovenia second, and Italy is on third. Surprise for Italy, very good races. Slovenia took the silver medals. Congratulations for Slovenia and congratulations for the Czech Republic teams. They are favorites in all three categories. They took the goals in all three team category. They start with classic team, K1 women team, gold for Martina Sadkova, Aneška Pludova, Klara Hricova, continuing men, C1 classic team, Rollins Andrej, Rigal Marek, Slanina Vladimir, and now they finish with K1 men. Czech team, Adam Sadke, Karaš Lepica, Kamil Mruzek win the third gold in all team events. Congratulations to the team of uh, Czech Republic.
Welcome back, uh, Masters Race. Start number one, 126, Kraus Harald from Germany. It's on the race course. We have uh, six athletes on the race course at the moment. We have uh, here some interesting names on the start list. Slučik Jaroslav, Vala, Vladimir Slučik and uh, Vala Vladimir from the uh, Slovakian team, several time world champion. Horinek Rejnak, Czech team. And C1 man, Joško Kanzler, second place 28 years ago on, uh, on the championships here in Bovec. Together with, with uh, Andrei Jelens, he was on third, and myself, we won also the team race here in C1 man categories. 
This was the first time that uh, men canoist won all three medals. Last time, Andrei Yelens was third. Yoshko Kancer was second, and uh, I was in the first position. The next day, we won also the team races. The race course was a little bit longer than this one. We paddled just uh, also after the flipper, even finished just before the stone bridge. George Mihailovic uh, from Slovenia, it's on the start. Markus Wickler, several time world champion in K1 men. Gerhard Schmidt, he was yesterday on the on individual race. Gerhard uh, finished his uh, race uh, on the ninth position. Borut Tuma, K1 man specialist for the white water canoeing. Now here in Masters category. Gerhard Schmidt, ninth place from yesterday individual competition. So Gabriela Belovska from Czech Republic, she's uh, already just over 30 minutes on the race course. Mate Hochevar uh, and Joško Kanzler are also in the course at the moment. We have uh, four Slovenians in this category. Gerhard, it's he's already on the race course. Gerhard Schmidt, uh, ninth place from yesterday in the video category. Start number 131, Pavel Schindelar uh, from Czech Republic. Uh, wait for his start. Wind is still blowing. Upstream wind make it uh, races more difficult. There is uh, still upstream uh, wind on the start. Yes, on this uh, open area. Yes, the make it this race and much more difficult for the athlete. Uh, Bohemil Hrabets from Czech Republic, 132. It's on the race course. Uh, we are here from Tuvet Jelko Petric from Croatia, ex C1 pillar, my teammate.
Filko Petrić, uh, start number 132. It's on the start line. XC1 Man Peddler now we in a K1 Masters category. So we have uh, free to go K1 Man Masters. Uh, Gabriela Bilovska is. Uh, Close to 17 minutes on the race course. Uh, Hans Mertmans from Belgium, uh, experience, career behind him, uh, coach of Belgium team, very powerful here on the start. Now still we wait uh, Bilos Gabriela, K1 uh, women uh, masters from the Czech Republic. She is uh, just over 18 minutes on the race course. We still wait. Wait she here. We wait now, uh, time for uh, Mate Hochevar, Slovenian C1 men masters. He is uh, close to 19 minutes on the race course. We have uh, all athletes uh, 
the race course. Now we wait. Start for first C2. Slučić Jaroslav Vladimir Vala will open this category. We have a free boat here in C2. They will start in uh, one minute. We have an uh, all K1 Masters on the race course. Now we weigh the time of uh, Mati Hochevar. He is uh, 19 uh, minutes and 30 seconds race course. And now here he is. Uh, 1940.10 uh, first place in the moment uh, now we have a Joško Kanzler challenge him now from Slovenia Kanzler Joško oh now we see it crew Vala Slučić, the open C2 category, the legend of C2 and C1, wild water canoeing, slalom, experienced, very, very good athletes, experienced, real legend, we can say it. So we wait time of uh, Joško Kanzler, it's 1913 already on the race course. 1940, time of uh, Matej Hochevar, Joško Kanzler. Now we are with live picture with the uh, crew, Kluba Slanina. Joško Kanzler, civil medalist, 28 years ago on this race course. Andrei Jelens was third, and uh, I was the first. Ne next day we won also the team races. Now Joško Kanzler is alone on this competition. We have some other duties here, but uh, always it's very nice to be here on uh, one of the beauties river in the world. But for sure, maybe I'm not objective enough to say that. But we spend a very, very good times here, and a lot of time we spend here for the training on almost all water level. And also, we pedal a little bit longer race course, which finished just before the Storm Bridge. Now, the race course is around 600 meters or 700 meters shorter than this one and the start position is almost on the same position now we have we saw crew Jaroslav Horinek, uh, Reženik Ladislav from Czech Republic and now there is Joško Kancler is in the finish line 21 17.63 1 minute 37 behind um, Matoho Čevar so first place for Mati Hochevar, second place for uh, Joško Kanzler. Now we wait the first K1 uh, Man Masters. Uh, first one was one German Brig Volgang uh, was uh, first on the start of this group. Uh, Yes, here, here. 1909.05 German uh, Brick Wolfgang. Now, uh, Olaf Hartz will take the lead from Germany. Oh. 
Hats Olaf uh, from Germany, current leader, current leader. Second place from Brick Wolfgang uh, from Germany. Now we wait. Uh, third German, Klaus Harald. So we have uh, two German masters uh, on position one and two. We wait third one, uh, Kraus Harald, uh, Matuski Miroslav from Slovakia, George Mihailovic, Slovenia, Gerhard Schmidt, Austria. Gerhard may be absolutely favorite here because he was ninth uh, on yesterday individual competition. Klaus Harald, uh, star number 126, he uh, is almost 19 minutes on the race course. The winner, current winner of this category and the leader is has a 17.31. With uh, this competition, we finish uh, today's program. Uh, tonight, we have uh, prize giving ceremonies for all individual and all team races on classic distance. Tomorrow, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning with uh, spring competition. There is uh, two rounds, a little bit longer competition but they will be very very interesting for sure today on all, all the team event check team one all c1 men k1 women k1 men absolutely tremendous now we still wait uh, kraus matushki mihailovic there is for sure some overtaking here on this uh, classic race course. And yes, now Gerhard Schmidt. <laughs> we don't have a picture of him. But now we have some Gerhard Schmidt. Yes, he is uh, on number one. More than one minute in front of the second one. And he continue racing down there. Harald Kraus from Germany, fourth place. Oh, he is really tired. But congratulations for those athletes. Yes, they are excellent. They are tremendous. But even this water level is very good for competition. The water is not technically difficult. But congratulations for everybody because some of those athletes have a very, very big careers behind 30, 40 years ago. Now we have a new leader, current leader, Gerhard Schmidt, and now uh, Harald Kraus uh, on uh, position number five. 20, 52.17. Uh, and now there is uh, George Mihailovic to the fourth place. 1932.69. Now we have uh, 
have uh, more and more athletes come to the finish line. Matuški Mirovo Slav from Slovakia, Schindler Pavel from Czech and Harabec Bohomil from Czech Republic, they must be the next one. Matuški is just over the 21 minutes on the race course, 21 minutes and 30 seconds at the moment. So the current leader Gerhard Schmidt has a 16, 22.09. This is, I think, unreachable time for most of the athletes. Uh, we have a uh, Slovakian Czech, uh, Czech athlete, yes, Pavel Schindler. Oh, he is, yes, overtake the Matuski Miroslav and he is uh, current on the third position. <laughs> yes, now we wait for. Um, Matuški from Slovakia, Hrabec, Czech Republic, Petric, Croatia. So there is a, there are three athletes to come to the finish line. For sure, the masters compete on the shortened race course. They they don't compete on the, this last part on the canyon. But it's very nice to to see some of the real legend of the wild water canoeing sport, but not only wild water canoeing, even the slalom, like Slučić Jaroslav, Vladimir Vala, excellent athlete. We still keep on, so Matuški is just uh, 23 minutes on the race course, Hrabet 18, Minutes, Petric from Croatia, 17 uh, minutes in the race course. Now we have uh, I think for sure Hrabic and Petric will reach the finish line before the Slovakian Matuški Miroslav. Yes, now we have a Hrabec Bohomil, Czech athlete, Czech masters. So on uh, fourth place, 1622.09. Now the, there is a new one, uh, 127 Matuški Miroslav from Slovakia. 23, 51.42. Harabets from Czech Republic on the current position number four, 18, 46.36. Now we have to wait. Petric uh, from Croatia, Mersmans from Belgium, and Ozbetic from Slovenia. There is uh, two Slovenian athletes at the end, Ozbetic and Hafer. Hans Mersman on uh, third position, 1622.09. Yes, Schmidt make very, very good time. So, but he was also ninth on the yesterday competition. Petric. Uh, on sixth, current on six, 1622.09. Uh, ex canoist from Croatia, 1858.29. Very good race. Now we wait uh, Ozbetic and uh, Hafner uh, from. Uh, Slovenia, Zbetic is uh, just uh, 17 minutes and 44 seconds, uh, so he will not be second, third, so he will be out of the middle at the moment. Hans Mersmans makes 17.32.62, current uh, third position. 
So this is a mark time for those that want to win the medals at the moment. Schmidt on first, Hartz on second, Mersmas on third place. Dianos Betic uh, now just uh, 18 minutes and 20 seconds uh, on the race course, which is enough for uh, fourth position. Uh, Hafner Joje already 17 minutes 30 seconds on the race course also Joje is out of the silver and out of the bronze medal so we can say unofficial uh, that uh, the masters the winner of the masters K1 race is uh, Gerhard Schmidt from Austria 1622.09 Second place, Olaf Hart from uh, Germany, 17, 31.64. And uh, third place, Hans Mersmans from Belgium, uh, Belgium coach, 17, 32.62. So, but we must wait officially the finish of the K1 men uh, category now we have some warm-up from uh, Czech team now we have uh, now we also have all three C2 teams uh, on the race course leading by Jaroslav Slučić Vladimir Vala from Slovakia start number 137 but now yes we have a boat from uh, Slovenia Joze Hafner uh, on seventh position 19.00.24 Joze Hafner uh, and uh, Deanos Betic on tenth position 20.10.8 so now we close the K1 uh, men masters category and we now wait, we now wait the C2s. Gerhard Schmidt from Austria, first place. Second place from Olaf Hartz uh, from Germany. Third place from Hans Mersmas from Belgium. So the Olaf Hartz leading the Masters B. Second place goes to Czech team. So we have uh, all the winners of the K1 men masters category. We now close this competition uh, with C2s. We have all three C2 crews on the race course. So we wait, start number 137, Jaroslav Slučić Vladimir Vala from Slovakia, the legend of the wild water sports. Luboš Kluba Slanina Vladimir, from Czech Republic is start number 138. Horinek uh, Jaroslav and Ladislav Rezniak, uh, 139 from Czech Republic. Uh, there is a free boat to go to see the winners of the, com of the Masters competition. Vladimir Slanina together with his uh, son, the young Vladimir Slanina, took the sixth place on yesterday individual competition. Uh, so today, Vladimir Slanina senior are in crew with Luboš Kluba from Czech Republic, and we still wait the 137, Vala Slučić amazing crew from uh, Slovakia and also great day for Slovenian athletes yes they took the medals K1 men they are proud for sure for that yesterday they have a uh, whole set of the medals one gold one silver and one bronze and for sure they're not stop they have a uh, sprint competitions from starting from tomorrow 
and now we are close to 90 minutes yes 90 minutes Slučik and uh, Vala they are just over the 19 minutes on the race course Schmidt from Austria make very very good time here it's 16 22 one minute and almost 10 seconds behind was Olaf Hartz from uh, Germany and uh, just one second behind Hans Mersmans but now we have a uh, yes Vala Slochik uh, it's in the finish line with time 1938.19 oh like in like in uh, best time setting for them so it's uh, eight place in K1 category this is very very good time for slot for Slučić and uh, Vala real legend of the wild water sport Slovakians Jaroslav Slučić and Vladimir Vala real champions new target time 1938.19 Kluba Slanina is the second let's see the time of Kluba and Slanina so Kluba and Slanina is Behind at the moment, Slučić and Vala and uh, Horjenek uh, Režnjak is just over the 19 uh, minutes. Uh, so from this position, uh, there will be, I think, fight between those two Czech teams uh, for silver, because. Uh, Vala Slučić make 19, 38.19, which is very, very good for C2. They pedal on a shortened race course. It's not possible to compare with the European Championships race. But they are very, very good. And also, yes, uh, Horjenek uh, Režnjak now it's uh, in the finish line on the second place. 19, uh, 49, 4.19. Yesterday, uh, the winner of C2 category, the crew from uh, Czech Republic, Suhane Krolengt, was on split race 17 minutes 11 seconds today today's race finish on this split race this is actually finished for the masters categories which is not good and also the water level is a little bit lower but uh, excellent work also for uh, Režnjak Horinek uh, Jaroslav Horinek wild water pedal slalom wild water canoeing now here it's nice to see him here in C2 Masters crew Kluba Slanina is just over the 22 minutes uh, on the race course so for sure they will not uh, take the gold and silver they will be on the bronze position but we still wait where they are we are somewhere on the race course First place, uh, Vladimir Vala, Slučić Jaroslav, Slovakia, 1938.19. Uh, second place, Jaroslav Horjenek, uh, Ladislav Režnjak, uh, Czech Republic, 1949.19. Already here in picture. And we still wait, crew, Kluba Slanina. Luboš Kluba, Sladimir Slanina from Czech Republic, start number 138. 
it's still it's still on the race course just uh, over the 23 minutes we don't have uh, information what happened uh, There is some uh, team start to with practice here for tomorrow's sprint competition, so I think it's time to be step out and announce tomorrow competitions on sprint distance. We start at uh, 10 o'clock uh, in the morning, two hits is in front of us. Thank you to watching us, uh, have a nice time and come to visit us. Uh, Tonight, visit our prize giving ceremony and meet the champions at 6 o'clock uh, in Bovet. And we are live with picture and sound tomorrow from 10 o'clock. Uh, have a nice time. Mm-hmm.